Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today we'll be maxing out your Fortnite FPS. Now, Fortnite isn't the hardest game to get FPS in, but if you are a competitive player, especially if you're in high player lobbies, especially endgame, you're gonna need that high FPS. So, let's get it for you guys. Fortnite is actually the reason I got into FPS and overclocking, so I've spent a lot of time testing this game, getting the most FPS, so let's just get right into it. Alright, starting off, we're just going to go talk about some drivers real quick, so what you'll need to do is this, you'll just need to go type in, let's say I have an NVIDIA card, so NVIDIA drivers, I'm going to download it, so you'll go to this page, hit beta and older drivers, find your GPU, so let's say I have a 3080 Ti, one and then you want to click i'd recommend just do dch Let's hit search um a good all around drivers 496.49 um if you want to go older you can go 472.12 this game doesn't need a new driver by the way just because it is such a it's not been as updated lately just with some of the seasons if you ever are on one of these older drivers and you need to update just download the latest one if you're on an AMD, AMD GPU, go to AMD drivers. You'll need to go AMD drivers and support. Click your list of cards right here. So I have a 6900 XT. Hit submit. Now you want to go to Windows 10 or 11. Hit the recommended. So the recommended actually says that if you're using multi-threaded rendering in DirectX 11, that you'll have issues. The actual rec the optional driver fixes this. This isn't that big of a deal because we will be using DirectX 12 just because that is what I've seen to actually perform better and we'll get into that. So you'll do this and now let's get into the settings. Now let's go into your GPU driver settings. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're just going to want to follow these settings. So let me go to the NVIDIA settings. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So this is in the like advanced settings at the top. All you'll need to do is just follow these. So the settings that I have highlighted in red are the ones that you actually need to change. So you'll need to change threaded optimization on. This is a big deal, actually. Texture filtering quality, high performance. There is no quality difference, by the way, if you set this from like quality to high performance. There's no difference. Preferred refresh rate, highest available. You can use G-Sync or FreeSync, but in this game with pushing high FPS, I wouldn't recommend it because you'll need to cap your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. Power management, do prefer maximum performance. OpenGL rendering, this game isn't an OpenGL, but this is just a good one to set in case you're playing games like Counter-Strike, set it to your GPU. Low latency mode is off. You will be using reflex in the game, so let's use that. Gamer correction off, and now onto the AMD GPU. So what you'll need to do is Go here. So the ones you need to change, just turn off, force off, vertical vsync because you don't want to use that. Texture filtering quality set to performance. Tessellation override off. If you are more interested in a little more in-depth AMD guide, I'll have a video I'll leave up here. But I'm also making a video one soon. So if you guys are interested, make sure you subscribe. But now um, some simple Windows things actually hit. Windows key and I, you'll go to your Windows settings right here. Uh, system. Let's start with this. Uh, advanced display settings. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you want to enable hardware accelerated graphics scheduling. I'll believe a picture of what that shows. You want to enable it. Uh, privacy. Scroll down. Background apps. Make sure you turn this off. Windows security. Uh, delivery optimization. Just turn that off. It just helps some networking stuff. For gaming, you want to disable the game bar and enable the game mode. That's just one of those. And personalization. What you can do actually is just turn off transparency effects. This doesn't... This isn't a massive GPU thing, but just turn it off so you don't have to do any extra things on your desktop while you're gaming. Now we can actually get into the game. All right, so we're on the Epic Games launcher. So you want to find where you have Fortnite. I want you to hit Options, and I want you to uncheck Save the World and High Resolution Textures. There's no point in having high resolution textures, maybe if you're playing 4K, but I'm playing 1440p and there's no actual like low resolution textures at all. It's still high quality with this on and off I've tested, so just disable it and you get a little bit more disk space. Also don't disable save the world if you don't need it, just have the bare battle royale. There's also no actual um, like launch options for this game, I don't know, Yo, you go to settings, scroll down, Fortnite, there's no actual command line stop it doesn't work 
So don't worry about that. Uh, if you are having some issues, one thing you might want to do actually is just verify your files. That can actually help sometimes. Just make sure maybe there's like a missing file or something. So now we're going to load up the game. One thing I'd recommend is once you hit run, just close out of the launcher. You don't need it running, so it's not pinging anything. It's a kind of a nice thing to have. And now let's actually get into the game. All right, here we are in the game. So turn, so go straight to your settings. This is just what we're going to be in. So windowed mode, make sure you're in full screen. Don't be in windowed full screen or windowed mode. You will be getting extra input lag. Resolution, set this to your rec, to your, um, High like your native refresh rate. Obviously, if you play stretch res, I wouldn't recommend it in this game just because you lose FOV. But you can try it out. Frame rate limit. So I want you to cap at your highest at the highest you can. So 360 is what I'm recommend. Even if you have something like a 240 to like 240 144 monitor, just set it to that. Unlimited causes some weird 1% low stuff. So 360 fixes that. Just would recommend that. Um, all this is personal preference. All right. So here are the settings I'd recommend actually. So first of all, let's go to DirectX 12. DirectX 12 gets the highest FPS. That is very proven. So I'll show you guys actually right now. And I also need to relaunch the game so I can continue with the settings. So I tested performance and DX12. I didn't test DX11 just because there's no point. But so I tested performance and DX12 on both my NVIDIA GPU and AMD GPU, the 2080 Ti and the 6900 XT. So if we go to the performance on the 2080 Ti, you see I'm getting 320 FPS looking. And then if I go to DX12 on the 2080 Ti, I'm getting 363. So I am getting 43 more FPS. The same spot offline matches in Battle Lab is where I tested. Now if we go to uh, DX12 on the 6900 XT, I'm getting 489 FPS versus 379. I'm losing over 100 FPS by using performance mode. I would not recommend performance mode actually anymore. So now we can go back to the get launcher. Um, while we're talking about this, I want to talk about your config. So you hit Windows key and R right here and type in app data. And then it'll load up here. Do you want to go to local? Fortnite game saved config Windows client game user settings. Um, the only setting I'd actually say you could mess with is so there's actually one. So front end frame limit is your lobby frame limit. If you really don't like it being stuck at 120, you can set zero for unlimited. I wouldn't recommend it. It pulls a lot of power. Just set it to like your monitor's refresh rate. I have a 270 hertz 1440p. So that's what I'm gonna set it to, and then. Um, let me, so B disable mouse acceleration doesn't do anything actually. Now let me find where the, oh, frame rate limit. You can set this to, like, let's say you have like a 390 Hertz. Just type in like, just replace this in six with a nine. Let's say you're getting like a 500 Hertz, 10 EP whenever those come out, but just use 360 if not, um, make sure all these are set to zero and all of this. Um, you can save that, hit control S. Now let's get back into the game and finish with their settings. All right, so back in the game, we're going to go back to the settings now. Um, remember, full screen, native refresh rate, F3, FPS limit 360. All right, so here are these settings. So what I would honestly recommend is just setting your view distance to epic and leaving everything low. This game doesn't need high textures. If you do prefer to have some of these, it's fine. I wouldn't recommend um, anti-aliasing, though, just because that does put a little blur on the game. Shadows, no, well, someone could be hiding in them. Textures and effects would probably be the only ones I'd recommend. Um, okay, V-Sync, make sure that's off once again. Motion blur, off. Show FPS, that's on. I just like to have that on. Um, use multi-thread rendering on. This does help me. And then use GPU crash debugging. No, we don't want them like logging us and stuff. Now let's go to the gear icon. Say your matchmaking region to the server closest to you. All of these are basically personal preference, except for NVIDIA highlights. Turn this off. Unless you use it to actually get your clips, but I wouldn't recommend it. Peripheral lighting off. Don't have it like hooking with your keyboard and stuff. The game. It's weird. Report performance stats. Uh, no. But I don't know. Uh, replays. Don't have replays on. I know there's some tournament stuff that might still need that. So if you do need to have replays... Leave them on, but I would not recommend leaving them on just because you're going to be using a lot more hard drive space too. 
Um, all this other stuff is all personal preference. If you guys did enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button, like the video. I did that in like a weird way. But anyways, do all that stuff. Help me grow. Trying to hit a thousand subs. We're very close. Um, going to have a lot more videos for you guys. Let me know down below what game I should do next. Because obviously we have a lot. There's a lot of games to play. Let's see which one can get you the most FPS. So, yep. If you're interested, join the Discord to get more information. And yeah. See you guys later. Peace. <laughs>